Hello everyone, it's Lix and welcome back to another video. So I recently purchased this watercolor sketchbook slash journal and thought it would be fun to challenge myself to paint two quick illustrations every week. The sketchbook I have is from Feel Artists, it is 5x5 inches with 200 GSM paper. It even has this bonus 4 panel panorama foldout in the back cover, so I thought that was pretty cool. To further motivate myself, I also decided that I would make this into a series and share my process with you guys as well. For today's illustration, I had already done a rough sketch to test out some colors, so all there is left to do is start. I first prepped the sketchbook by taping down all the edges with washi tape. Recently, I've been really into the look that results from this, which are some super crisp edges that are hard to achieve with a brush. Then I use a Prismacolor Color Erase Pencil in Rose to sketch because it blends in a lot better with the watercolors than graphite. I actually had some trouble getting the proportions right because the sketch I made beforehand was larger than the finished product. So there was a lot of erasing and resketching for this part of the process, which was super frustrating but it all worked out in the end. So now, I am finally at the painting portion of this video. For my paints, I use mainly my Windsor Noon Cotman set at first, but then also some Gansai Tommy watercolors later on for more color variety. And as always, my materials will be linked in the description down below. So feel free to check that out along with the links to all of my other social medias. But anyways, I wanted to give a bit of my thoughts on the sketchbook itself. I noticed that the paper soaked up the water pretty quickly, leaving with not that much time to work with. But the warping of the paper was quite minuscule and overall I did like working in the sketchbook very much. Now with all of that out of the way, let's talk about the main topic of this video, which is sketchbooks, whether it be starting one or completing one. So first, let me share a bit about my personal struggles with sketchbooks and sketchbook hoarding. Back in early high school, after I finished my first two sketchbooks, I started to fall into this pattern of buying a new sketchbook and then filling out maybe 15 or so pages consistently, but stopping for a few months, usually due to motivation or art block, and then completely abandoning it, deeming my drawings to be outdated and not an accurate reflection of my style, skill level, or aesthetic anymore. I think I fell into this vicious cycle of collecting barely filled sketchbooks because of two things. One was that I had high expectations and wanted each and every one of my drawings to come out looking perfect. I wanted a sketchbook that I could proudly show to other people and perhaps make for a good sketchbook tour. But that mindset was very detrimental because of the ridiculous standards I proposed onto myself. I knew for a fact that not every drawing I make is going to turn out good, but the idea of a good looking sketchbook was just too enticing. I couldn't help but feel like that was my end sketchbook goal. The second was that I didn't have the habit of creating art daily. Whenever I look to one of my past incomplete sketchbooks, there are often huge gaps in time between pages. And as I've mentioned before in my How to Motivate Yourself video, having the drive to do things doesn't necessarily come from willpower alone. My problem was that I've never developed the discipline to draw daily or even bi-weekly. My productivity was completely dependent on my mood that day, which isn't that good for steady progress. So after identifying the problem, as well as what I really wanted to achieve, I went for a compromise and came up with this series slash challenge. Even though I know sketchbooks are meant to be messy and loose, I still wanted that satisfaction of having a completed sketchbook with more refined illustrations. So to achieve that more easily, I will be doing little thumbnails before tackling the actual painting for that day. And by setting time apart twice a week for this project, the time gap between pages will only be a few days at most, solving the outdated style issue. I'll also be able to practice watercolors more often, which is something that I've wanted to do for a while now. But do keep in mind that this was the solution I came up with for my own art goals and needs. And if I were to give sketchbook advice, it'd probably be very different from what I'm doing here. 
Sketchbooks honestly have no limits or rules. They exist so you can sketch on the go and create new ideas, practice old ones, or do whatever you want to. If you feel pressured to always create beautiful pieces in your sketchbook, maybe try to keep two or three at a time. One can be your more polished sketchbook, while the other is more casual and messy. This method has helped me a whole bunch in the past, and even as of right now. But yeah, I also wanted to talk a bit about the series slash challenge as well. I will attempt to upload a video a week to keep you guys updated on the progress of this project, but it would also be nice if you guys could suggest some art topics for me to discuss as I haven't done those in a long time. Overall, I'm pretty excited for this series, and I hope that you guys will enjoy it as well. So as I attempt this challenge, I want you guys to try and complete a sketchbook as well. If you've been feeling unmotivated or art blocked, now's your time to start drawing again. It doesn't have to be pretty, complex, or good, and if you're still waiting for a sign, this is it. So now, get out there and start creating.